I too could not decide. That's why I have both of these products. There are some key differences. So I'm gonna jump in and let you know which one's right for you. What's going on guys, it's Riley Sorensen here and uh, we're just gonna jump straight in and talk about price here. The Magic Keyboard comes in at $129 and its companion mouse, the Magic Mouse, comes in at $79. The Logitech MX Keys for Mac comes in at $99. MX Master 3 comes in at $99. So if it's coming down to price for you, if you total it all up, the Apple keyboard and mouse together only comes in 10 bucks more. So be sure to buy the one that you actually wanna buy, not based off of the price, it's 10 bucks difference. All right, jumping into style here. Both of these keyboards are quite beautiful in my eyes. I think the difference is Apple has gone for this sleek one frame design and very low profile keys. The Logitech Master Series came in and made it a bit beefier. It's quite a bit thicker comparatively, and it has this thick bezel in the back here. Diving into the mice, I mean, we've seen this design for a long time. They really haven't changed a lot. It's got a glossy finish on the top, the same aluminum bottom, and these two rails to help it track. The Logitech is more of a classic style mouse. The buttons on the side and all this make it a bit more clunky looking comparatively. However, I still think it's a good looking mouse. But if I had to pick a winner, I would say Apple is the winner. Okay, moving on to quality and finish. I think they are both really quality keyboards here. Apple has me used a aluminum type metal here and Logitech is more plasticky but it doesn't look like it. When it comes to weight though, Logitech is quite a bit heavier. That's kind of personal preference, but I've always felt like if it's heavier, it's better quality. When it comes to mice, Logitech has a rubberized grip for your thumb and palm with plastic right and left keys. The Apple mouse has a glossy finish with a uniform design. Both of them feel really quality to me in their own ways, so I would say this would have to be a tie. All right, jumping into battery life. There's a pretty big difference between these two, unfortunately, just based off of real world experience. You've got the Apple keyboard that charges via lightning and you've got the Logitech which charges via USB-C. They both charge really fast. Based off of my experience, I've been able to use the Magic Keyboard for like one to three months without ever needing to charge it. On the Logitech though, I can make it about two weeks and then I'll have to charge it again. It's not a big deal, all you gotta do is just plug it in. It doesn't stop it from working. Apple, I don't know why, but they've decided to make the charging port on the bottom of the mouse. So that means you need to flip it upside down and stab it in there and you can't use it until it's charged. This dies more frequently than my keyboard does. I've had this happen like multiple times where I'm in the middle of an edit and it dies and then I have to flip it over, stab it, and then just sit there while it charges. It does charge pretty fast, but that's really annoying and I just, I do not like that. Logitech lasts about the same amount of time, maybe a little bit less, but they thought about putting the charging port right at the front here, so it charges again while you use it. When it comes to battery life, if it's the keyboard, Apple wins. If it's the mouse, Logitech wins. All right, features and connectability. I believe this is the area where a lot of you will be swayed to go get the Logitech mouse and keyboard. Let's start off talking about the Apple keyboard because there's less to talk about. <laughs> it works, it's a Bluetooth keyboard. It connects just as it would with any other keyboard. And if you wanna switch it between computers, you can. Like you can go in there and change the settings and have it connect to this Mac versus the other Mac or whatever you want. But it's nothing magical about switching. And that's where the Logitech steps in. You got up to three computers that you can connect to. On the keyboard, it will switch. And as we're talking Talking about features here, Logitech has added a backlight. This backlight is beautiful. If you put your hands over the keyboard without even touching it, it will illuminate automatically. One thing to note, it has quite a bit more travel compared to the Apple keyboard, and you may or may not find that you like that, but I know for myself, I really appreciate having a bit more travel and feedback when I'm typing. The Apple mouse here is pretty cool design. It's basically like a little trackpad on top of the mouse. So you are able to do the gestures, and that's something that I was nervous about when getting this Logitech mouse. I wanted to be able to use the same gestures that I'm used to on a Mac, but I learned that they do have that feature here. If you click down this button and do the same thing with your whole hand, it's essentially the same. On the Apple mouse, it connects pretty much the same way. You flip it over, turn it on, and connect it with Bluetooth and you're good to go. On the Logitech, you're able to connect to three different computers just like you are on the keyboard with the click of the button or you are able to use 
through a free app called Logic Options, you are able to use gestures in order to switch between two computers seamlessly. It's actually pretty cool and I've used it multiple times and I love it. It's actually a really big selling point for me. The other thing is there are five programmable buttons and then two scroll wheels here. These buttons are programmable per application within the Logic Options app and I love that. I'm a video guy, so I'm working in After Effects and Final Cut Pro and different things like that. And so I've programmed each of these buttons to do specific keystrokes that I would have to reach over and do on my keyboard at the same time. Now it's all right here. And I gotta say, you cannot overlook that. All right, so there you have it. Honestly, it's probably pretty obvious to you now but Logitech has my heart on this. If you're wanting to buy one of these products, I have links down in the description below. It's an affiliate link. It will help the channel grow. It doesn't cost you any extra. And like every YouTuber says, please smash that like button and subscribe. It will help my channel grow here as I am brand new. Thanks guys for watching and we'll see you next time.